And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, moderate risk for severe weather for the entire viewing area. That includes all of Greater Lafayette. Now, the timeline for these storms won't arrive until later on this evening, but still, we are looking at the beginnings of that system, or at least just off to the west of us, the beginnings of that system firing up within the next couple of hours here. Still lingering a couple light rain showers throughout the viewing area, a couple thunderstorms just off to the northwest, but zooming in, looking a little bit closer on our precision tracker radar, just some scattered light rainfall across the far eastern portion of the viewing area. We do have a couple heavier storms across parts of Pulaski County, Fulton County, even northern Jasper County. A couple lightning strikes there, but as far as uh, inclement, inclement weather goes, that's all we have to really talk about for now. However, we'll notice as this rainfall pushes to the east, we're beginning to see some clearer skies for the western half of the viewing area. That's driving temperatures higher across our western counties. It's only 71 right now in Kokomo, but we're seeing 82 in Covington, 78 degrees in Williamsport. And looking westward from our downtown Renaissance camera, you can see the sunshine. Now, with the sun, we have already had all the moisture, all the rainfall throughout the morning, the afternoon. Now you're adding the sun to the equation, and we're starting to talk about a much more unstable air mass here at the surface, and that will fuel that chance for thunderstorm development in the evening hours. 74 degrees so far, your high temperature in Lafayette and your current temperature as well. Winds from the southwest, 9 miles per hour. Humidity, very high. Again, we're going to be seeing the clear conditions here at home, along with all that moisture, and then that cold front moving in. Now we're talking about an actual timeline of the storms. You can see that line of showers and storms firing up just to the west of us over parts of eastern Iowa, as well as northern Illinois between 5, 6 o'clock. Eastern time. As that continues to kick eastward, it will begin to move into our far northern portion of the viewing area just around 10 p.m. Eastern time. Kicking southward, reaching Tippecanoe County between midnight and 1 a.m. early tomorrow morning, finally pushing off to the south and to the east by about 4 or 5 early tomorrow morning. Now, the primary threats from any of these storms not only large hail and an excess of inch in diameter. In fact, we could see half dollar size hail. The Storm Prediction Center even talking about the possibility of baseball size sale to the northwest of us. We're looking at wind gusts in excess of 60, possibly 70 miles per hour, possibly hurricane force winds. Isolated tornadoes, also a possibility along with this system, a strong upper level jet. Overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, directly above us, could extend some of those cloud tops into the upper atmosphere, and as a result, that could bring that risk of tornadic activity. Your snapshot forecast this evening, Dean Marion sending in the beautiful backdrop here from Monticello this morning. 80 degrees by 7 p.m. Notice, big warm-up over the next couple of hours. That will, again, that heat and humidity fuel that thunderstorm development. Falling to 78 by 10, a full-on weather event, severe weather event by midnight. 69 degrees, your overnight low temperature in West Lafayette. Tomorrow, a lot calmer. We'll have the cold front come through. Mainly cloudy to partly cloudy skies throughout the day. A couple isolated rain showers, a possibility throughout the morning into the early afternoon. Thereafter, I'd like to see things dry out primarily for the day tomorrow. And as we go ahead in the forecast, things should dry out pretty nicely. 83 degrees, your high temperature in West Lafayette for tomorrow. 84 on Friday, Saturday, 88 degrees, all the way back up to 90 degrees. However, on Sunday, with another line of showers and thunderstorms beginning to move in that day, bringing an end to rain chances early Monday morning.